At the Cradle of Aviation every year, at least the last years that I went there, the last couple, and uh, there's awesome vendors there. There's so much shit inside New York that, you know, there's always stuff coming back with me. And uh, the first day I didn't really find much that I wanted, but the second day definitely got a lot of stuff. Um, I did a trade on the first day with my buddy Paul, and I got... Raystorm for PS1 and I remember back what I traded and uh, I got a complete in box art the lat collection and cash and uh, I traded the Neo Geo AES system to them so I'm happy to add these to my collection uh, definitely a game I would not buy because I don't buy RPGs really but shooters definitely are fun and it's a good one um, he was happy with the trade I was happy with the trade uh, I noticed that having those systems at conventions is more of a hassle than it is worth it because people just want to touch it and shit like that, so not worth my time to bring anymore. Of my buddy Carlson, I got this. This is the Quest of Kai Famicom game, complete in box. And I got Hawk F123 for PC Engine. Uh, shooter game, pretty good. And also off of Frank from Forgotten Fresh, I picked up Gates of Thunder. This is a three game, it's a PC Engine game. It's got Gates of Thunder on it, it's got Bonks on it, and it also has Bonks Revenge. Got a good deal on that. Off of two guys, I don't remember their name. They had a boot there, they had some um, Neo Geo Pocket games, got Metal Slug First Mission. And I got Samurai Showdown 2 for Neo Geo Pocket. I also picked up this. I'm a big Nightmare Before Christmas fan. Complete in a box, Nightmare Before Christmas for Game Boy Advance with the holographic label on the front. It's actually a pretty good game. It's a good platformer. I also picked up, up those same guys, a couple Neo Geo games. They had Street Hoops for MVS. League Bowling for MBS. And they also had this game, which was Top Players Golf for MBS. And there's also another vendor there that's a big buddy of mine. His name is Mike Bird. He owns a video game trading post out there. And I did quite a few good things with him and his boy Chris. That works for him. Chris hooked me up on this boxed Turbo Duo. No inserts in it, but Turbo Duo in a box. I got a sweet deal. Been looking for one of these for a while. I also got off of Chris. Well, actually off of Mike. That was off of Chris. But uh, I got some manuals. The Punisher for NES. Uh, Crash and the Boys. Arch Rivals. Flying Dragon Manual, F-117A, and Clash of Demon Head. And I also got some boxes for games that I needed boxes to. Blaster Master, Clash of Demon Head, Flying Dragon, Super Team Games, F-117A, and Defenders of the Crown. That was late at the night. I had uh, actually had Chris go and open up Mike's store later on after the convention. So I didn't find anything the first day. And that's some of the stuff I got from there that day. Also off of Mike, he hooked me up with um, two Neo Geo games. Ninja Combat MBS. And Baseball Stars Professional. Two decent games. And I also got off of Mike two bigger games. Never seen this before. Now I own it. It's a decent kind of ish game. It's not great, but it's definitely not worth the money in my opinion. Wild Woody for Sega CD complete. It's it's different. 
I can say that. And one of the big games they got there was Bonk 3. Um, to me, this is a complete, I'm complete in case. Collector. Oh, collector. Um, for me personally, I am not going after the boxes and whatnot. I think that's a little bit too much. Even though I'm a complete in box NES collector and everything else, but cases, cases are fine. And also, that I picked up at the convention was, right, this is the last thing. Um, I stress people say at conventions, you know, until it's over because you never know what you're going to find and pick up. I picked up two NES games that I needed for my North American set. I only need four games now. I picked up Godzilla 2 and Gunak. I have both the boxes and manuals for both these games. These are now complete. Um, like I said, I only need four more games. I got these for basically the price of this cart retail. So, yeah. You never know it's going to show up at the end of the cons. And uh, that's what I got back from Retro Long Island. Um, I can't wait for the con next year. Always a good time. Always good to hang out with buddies of mine. And I uh, hope to see you there. This is Neo Geo saying keep smashing buttons, and I'll see you in the next video.